Actress Mila Kunis admits a prank she regularly pulls on Vice President Mike Pence. But it's no laughing matter. Take a listen to what the celebrity had to say last week on TBS's Conan. I put him on a list of reoccurring um, uh, donations that are made in his name to Planned Parenthood. And so every month to his office, he gets a little letter that says like a don anonymous donation has been made in your name. Kunez says her donations to Planned Parenthood and Pence's name are less of a prank and more of a peaceful protest. She wants them to be a reminder to the vice president there are women out there who disagree with his platform. We should all feel free to disagree, to voice our opinion, and to exercise our rights. It contributes to healthy dialogue in our society. But it's incredibly disappointing. Mila Kunis would choose Planned Parenthood as a way to be a voice for women. Planned Parenthood objectifies women. Planned Parenthood, by being the nation's largest abortion provider, preys on women in their most vulnerable time instead of supporting them. Planned Parenthood performs over 300,000 abortions per year. About half of those unborn lives are women in their earliest stages. If you want to support women, Mila Kunis, don't support Planned Parenthood. The abortion giant already enjoys 500 million of our tax dollars a year and regular contributions from other Hollywood elites. The pro-life Susan B. Anthony List quickly responded to Kunis's prank. The group's president, Marjorie Danenfelser, tweeted out, we're now accepting donations to the pro-life cause in Vice President Mike Pence's name. Let's take a stand for life. It caught the eye of the pro-life vice president who tweeted back, I'm honored. Thanks for all Susan B. Anthony List does for life. I'm in.